Hello and welcome to a new video about my motor controller thing. Last video we realized that this new ESP Loading32 has no 5 volt output for the logic. So I found now meanwhile this step down converter. So I want to change I want to, to, to change the, the voltage level. I want to supply the motor with 6-7 volts, yeah? Because that's the rated 6 volt is the rated. Uh, vo uh, voltage of this motor and I don't want to, to miss this. So I need a step-down converter. So this is here an, an DC-DC step-down converter and all I have to do is to solder those wires in for input and output then we can put it on the table. All right, and then it should work. So let's start. <laughs> I use red and blue for 5 volts, white and, and black for whatever voltage. This should take care that this is really working. So let's see. Some solder. Where's the solder? Where's the solder? So in, in minus must be black. Mm. In minus must be black. In plus is white. Out plus is red. Where did it go? Where did it go? And then we must be something with black. Oh, blue. Out blue. Of course. Out minus. Red is correct. Thing I have to disconnect afterwards because I don't have the correct tool with me right now. But it should not bother us right now. Good, so here is plus and minus, and here is plus and minus. And here we'll take this. Yeah. I will unplug, of course, the power supply here. I'll also unplug the power supply here. The only thing I'm going to plug in is, is here minus, here plus. And on the other side I have to measure. I have to measure how much volts we receive. I have here my measurement device. Now it's getting technical. Oh. So I'll put this away. I just plugged in here plus and minus. For us it's more important for now to see this. See the dust, right? For us it's more important to see the dust. Yeah, all right. I will plug in plus. I will simply 
put this away. Put this on the on the table, directly to the table. And then we should be able to do everything. Huh? Look at that. Huh? Look at that, what we can see. Just have to adjust the focus a little bit. All right. Put this stuff away, what I just... <clears throat> Good, so we need here plus. Zack. We need here minus. Where is the minus? There, here. Here we should get 5 volts. Alright. What is this? Here we should get 5 volts. Hmm. I will turn now the power on. Let's see if this is exploding already. I always expect things to explode. You know? I don't know why. Is this on the light? No. Plus and minus. But we have 5 volts here. Alright. And if we go up here to... Six volts. Let's say seven. We should be able to tune this here. Yes, we are. Oh, so we want a little bit too less. Five volts, and if I change the input voltage, yes, we are ready at eight volts. Okay, this stays stable. So actually, I will try to reach five volt more precise. Good enough. Good enough. So we should have now five volts, right? Right. So here we have seven volts. So I can replug this to here. Whoop. Here we have seven volts now. I can put this here. I can put this here. And we should have here power supply of 5 volts, this I can forget, zack, good, turn this off, put this away, good, and now I can replug Now I can replug the motor and it should be more powerful again. It should be more powerful. I will not use it here. Let's see, we need a little bit room for the motor. Let's place it here. Ah. Motor. Here we go. So here is plus. I. No, I've broken the motor connector. Ah, I'll also solder. I'll also solder the motor connector. All right. Plug it in. 
Frage den. Minus. Plus. Alright. Now, power supply to the ESP. Let's see what is happening. This should start to turn. Uh, Okay, step down converter. Also covered. <laughs> this project is getting bigger and bigger. Now you have seen how step down converters adjusted. Good, good. Working, turning, done. And now, next time I'm going to connect this to the Wi Fi. Now really, because now everything is working as I want it to work. Alright? Good. For this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.